Hi all, welcome to the channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. I know what you're thinking. What's in the box? Well, this is something that's going to bring this channel full circle, and I'll explain what I mean shortly. bring you up to speed of the World of Wayne channel. Now I created this channel in 2015 and it encompassed everything to do with my life, whether it be traveling, solar eclipses, anything that I found of interest I put on the channel, which is why the channel is called the World of Wayne. I actually built my first build-up model in 2015 on the channel and you've seen that here, which was the Millennium Falcon. But it wasn't the first build-up model that I ever created. As a matter of fact, every build-up model I've ever done is on the channel except for one, my very first one. And that is what was in the box. And it's a big box. In fact, everything I need to build this model is in the box. I'm gonna show you what that looks like in a minute, but today I am gonna be building a model solar system orrery. This is absolutely brilliant. If you do wanna get yourself this, I have put a link down here. There is a QR code there as well that you can scan. It will take you straight to the build a model solar system website, and you can actually build this along with me. Now it's 12 stages. Everything we need is in the box. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one stage per video. So there'll be 12 videos in this series to show you this amazing orrery. That's a word I can't say, orrery. <laughs> By the end of this build, I promise you I should be able to say that. So let me show you what's in the box. So this is what we're gonna be building. And just so you know, all these gears and everything you see here is metal. We've got all the planets of the solar system, including the not a planets as they call them now, Pluto. And we've also got Eris there as well. Um, this will gonna be mechanical as well. So when you can plug this in, it's gonna have all the planets turning at the different speeds that they go, which is why we've got so many different gears in here to put in. And then you have a stack of trays with everything that we need for each section that we're working on in corresponding trays as we go through the box. So as you can see in this tray here, we've got the instruction manual, which I'll show you in a second. We've got the power source, which is transformer here, which has an output of six volts, if you can see that there. And we have this free gift, which is gonna help us to assemble this orrery. So let's look at the free gift first. Now, a lot of this stuff is actually gonna be put together with grub screws, which are gonna require an Allen key, which is why they've gave us a whole heap of Allen keys in here, as you can see there. Once the model's built, you're gonna to wanna to keep it clean. So we have got some brushes to get rid of all the dust and stuff like that. And also for that reason of cleanliness, they do have uh, a, a soft link cloth there that will actually keep fingerprints and stuff off this. And they also provide different size screwdrivers. I'm guessing that's a PH0. Uh, I'm guessing that's probably, that looks like a PH3. A, a real big chunky one here. But that all comes in this lovely zip up wallet, which as you see, it's got the orrery on one side, and then it's got all the planets with it on the other side there. And this is the instruction book, as you can see, it's not too thick, 12 stages, we should be able to go through this, but they are very, very detailed. So let me show you what's in the book. Okay, so this is the manual here. If I just turn that over, this is what we're building. This is great, <laughs> look how cool that looks. And this is gonna be the first stage that we're working on in this video. Now the middle picture here shows you how everything goes together, but it does break that down into these individual sub stages, as you can see here. So we've got seven on this one. So this is stage one. I'll just go and continue on stage two. Looks like this. Stage three, stage four, five. You can see how this builds up on this. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Look, almost finished and 12 is the base, which basically puts everything together. So that's basically, stage 12 is gonna be quite a big stage as you put the electrics in, make sure everything's working. And then you've got some hints and tips at the back there, which is just showing you the best practices when you're actually using uh, your model there. But uh, this is pretty cool. That is the full book, and this is gonna be an absolute great build. I tell you, when I first had this, I absolutely loved my Ori. Unfortunately, life got in the way, I don't actually have it anymore, which is one of my biggest regrets that I have since I started doing these build-up models. But I've got the chance to do it again now. So without further ado, let's do stage one. Let's get cracking. So 
So this is what the first tray looks like. So if I just lift that off, everything we need is in here. And you can do a quick inventory check to check what's in stage one and what's in stage two here. This is just folded over, just show you there. So one and two is in just this tray here. And this is what everything looks like when it's in here. So you're gonna love this. When I take this off, you'll see what I mean about how impressive all of this looks. Look, I'm gonna take out the first stage one dial here. This is so heavy. It is solid metal and look at the detailing on that. That is absolutely brilliant. It's really thick. This is obviously two pieces. You've got the rim, you've got the base here. Looking like that, wow. Now I originally did this model in 2010. This is stamped 2008. So it probably did come out earlier, but that's the when I did that. So that's excellent. All of these parts, look, all metal. This is brilliant. Now I'm gonna take all of these parts out. We've got the central shaft here, which was a little bit hard to get out, looking like that. And another internal rod shaft there. This is the first mount for the planet. All the planets tend to mount on these sections here. Here's an example of some of the gears that we're gonna be working with. Looking like that, again, all metal. Now we've got some Allen head screws here, and these are those grub screws that I was on about. Most of this model is gonna be built with these grub screws. It is rare, but we do have them. Some normal screws there. Another gear, some bushes here, looking like that. Be very careful with this bit, which is our first planet, which is Mercury there. Very tiny. And then finally, the biggest thing in our solar system, this, which is all wrapped up for us, is like a massive heavy ball bearing. Same color scheme, this is the sun. And I will take off the protection here. I can polish this off afterwards, because I want you to see exactly what that looks like. <laughs> That's excellent. We do have a little hole there to start putting everything together. So now you've seen the parts for stage one, we're gonna put these together. We actually build it from the top down. So we're gonna start with Mercury and the sun and then build it all the way down. And then looking at stage one, I've made one of these world away decisions, which is basically I'm gonna do two stages today. So you're gonna get stages one and two, then going forward, we'll do two stages per video. So that means this whole series should be six videos. Now what we have here is the base plate for the whole orrery. Now at the bottom of that, we're gonna have some foot pads to actually stop this scratching our surfaces. We've also got the mount here, which is gonna mount the central shaft for the whole orrery. Now you can see how all of these holes are laid out here. We just need to put this over the top to lay this out so it fits perfectly, lining up with those holes there. Now just for this first stage here, I'm gonna be using the Allen keys that they provide in the free gift pack for us to uh, actually put these in. Later on, I will start using my wow stick. It's actually on charge here at the moment, just to make things easier. But not all screws and uh, grub screws are gonna be able to fit with that wow stick. So you probably find yourself will be reverting back to the Allen key here. So as you can see, it's going in perfectly. And just put in the other two. So you can see what I mean about precision. You don't have to use any Oil, the threads are perfectly cut for this. Tighten those two up. And then just put the last one in here. And when they're in, they should look just like that. Now these are the little feet that we're gonna be putting in. They're gonna go into the three holes that we got here and they are just a screw in. So we can just put them in and screw them down. So one, helps if you push them first to start them off. That one's two, and that one's three. So now this is able to stand just like that. And I have got this lovely soft cloth here to get rid of all of my fingerprints that I've already got over the top there. Then this ring will eventually fit just over the top like that. It does enable you to move this so you can put it in position of due north. Now, in this hole here, we've got the massive central column looking just like that. That's just gonna go down like that there. It's gonna be secured in by one of these grub screws. Now we have got three different kinds of grub screws in this. We've got this size here, which looks like that. And we've got a really short 
stubby one. It's the short stubby one that we want first. Got a slightly bigger hole, but I have put this on one of the Allen keys that come with this, and that's just going to go into the hole at the side here. So I'll get that put in. Now, when you come to put these in, you want it tight, but don't over tighten it because you don't want to risk rounding that head there. But this is tight enough to actually lift it now from that unit. We now need the thinner rod, which looks just like this. One end has got like a flat end here. The other end has got a thread. On that thread, we are going to be putting the central part of our solar system, the sun. So put that in and make that tight. Again, I'm going to hold this in here, give it a nice polish. <laughs> And now this is where we're going to be putting our first gear in. Now this is the first gear here looking just like that. It's going to slide up this rod and fit flush against the sun there. To hold it in place you can probably see we've got a hole just there which is going to be perfect for us to put one of these grub screws in. I have loaded it up, get it in the hole and tighten it up. Now there is two holes on this. We want it to go in the right hand side one. So if you have two holes facing you, the grub screw is going to go into the right hand side one. You do want to make sure it's fitting flush against the sun there. Just like that and that's held itself on. Now if I just rotate that round, now we do have another grub screw to put in. Just realize there's actually three holes on this. We want to put this in the other threaded hole that we've got on the side there. So it's going in here. This one's kind of an angle, but we don't want to push that in all the way. We just want to load that up because that screw there is going to be holding the arm, which is going to be holding the planet. Now we've got a long arm on this and a short arm. It's the long arm that we want to be plugging into this gear here. So it's going to go in just like that there. I want to make sure that's at 90 degrees. So that's perfectly following the line of this shaft here. And then I'm going to take that grub that I've just loaded up and tighten it up. So that now looks like that. Excellent. What will happen then is we'll take the planet and the planet will go just into the top here and it will sit perfectly just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna actually glue these in I'm just going to leave them balanced in there, but I'm not going to put them in now. I don't want to lose them. I don't want to get them damaged while I'm putting this up. So I'm just going to take that out, put it to one side for now. So put that to one side. And we're going to make our first gear system now. So basically, I want to take these two parts here and put them together. So when they're together, they link just like that. Now you see how this goes together. We're going to want to put this into this section here. So what I want to do is make sure I'm putting this into the one, the hole here, which is furthest away from this grub here. So it's gonna go in this side. I'll put the bottom in like this. Then the top part, I'm putting it all together as you can see. And then this top part here on top. And then we're going to use a Phillips head screw. Now there's two different sizes here. This one is six mil, and then we've got an eight mil. We want the six mil one to go in first. That's going to go on the top, just like that. Turn it over. We'll have to just uh, re put that in for the bottom one is going to have the eight mil. And as you can see, that's in place perfectly working in unison. So to show you how this goes, we're gonna be putting this in this side here, and I have already put a lug just through this side here, which we are gonna be using to tighten up. Now this is gonna fit on top of this center shaft here, just like that. We wanna make sure it's at the very top, push down as much as we can and tighten this up. And with that in there, what will happen is we can take the sun that will fit over the top of this and it will mesh with the gear underneath just like that. So when we turn it, as you can see, the gears are moving and that is all there is to do in that stage. So 
So here are the parts for stage two. What I'm going to do is take these all out of the tray so we are ready to go for this. Now in stage two, as you can see here, we've got another planet. This is Venus. So to start stage two, we're going to need this little inner collar here. We need the larger uh, 41 tooth gear, the slightly smaller 39 tooth gear. And we also need this collar looking like that. So the way this goes, this collar here is going to be going onto this section just like that. On top, we're going to have the larger tooth gear, the uh, 41 tooth. And on the bottom, making sure it's this way round so that the indents are facing outwards to us, that whole gear system is going to look like that. So to put this together, what I'm doing is I'm just going to tighten the larger ring to the ring underneath first. So that's nice and tight. Then I'm going to put this sleeve over the top. Now this sleeve, if this is the larger ring, I want it round this way so that the grub screw will be approaching from my right hand side going left onto the larger ring there. And then what I want to make sure is any hole which has got a screw in it, we don't want to put this one in the same holes because it will just drive the screw out from the other side. So you want to put that into the holes where we haven't put a screw. So that's going to go this way. And I'll get these screws all the way in. The screw should then fit flush on both sides. That's perfect. And it should look just like that with the screws flush on the top and the bottom. So now we've got that, it's probably best to loosen the grub screw that we've got at the bottom here holding this shaft in. Because I am going to want to take that out to enable me to put the rest of the gears on now. So the first thing I want to do is take a washer, looking just like this, and slide that up the whole shaft there so it's sitting there. Now the gear that we just created with the more pegs on the top, the 41 cog gear, that's the larger one at the top, I'm going to slide that on as well. And that's going to join the gear on this side here, the small gear. What I want to do is put a grub screw, which I've already loaded up here, into the side here and tighten that up. Perfect. So again, that's now in place as one whole unit. Now you see on these L-shaped things, one side is completely solid and one side has got a tiny hole in the side. The tiny hole one is basically telling you which side goes into the gear. So you make sure the tiny hole is pointing in that way. Again, I want to keep this perfectly in line with this center shaft. Get a grub screw. And I'm going to hold that in place through this side just here. You can see it sort of goes at 90 degrees to that bar. So do it light first until you feel some resistance. Not too tight straight away. Just like that. Then straighten it. And then tighten that up. So now that looks like that. And what I'll do just for emphasis is show you what it looks like with the two planets in that we've just created so far. So that's looking like that. <laughs> Good, isn't it? I also want you to see how the gears are moving. So if I turn the sun around, you can see how those gears now move the different planets. Very clever. Okay, I'm just going to put the whole mechanism there to one side because we're going to make another gear now. And for that, I do need this plate looking like that. So what I want to do is take this plate here. This is the moon gear arm. And I'm going to be putting that into place just onto this section here. We want to make sure we put it in the right way. So that this small section that's coming out here, let me show you, is going in that way like that. And taking this screw here, big chunky thing this is, it's just going to go down the bottom there. Held in with a Phillips head screwdriver. So I'll get this lined up and get that in. This is pretty much starting to create the moon arm here. Just like that. That should fit nice and flush in there like that. Then 
I'm going to take this bracket or this bush here, which is going to go into the top of that section there and the larger gear looking like that. Line it up on top here. Got to get it to slot in together. Just like that. And that's held in with a six mil screw. Remember there are six mil and eight mil screws. So don't get confused. That's the six mil that will hold that into place there. Turn it over and on the bottom, we're going to put the bottom bush into this side and then the smaller gear here on top. And that's held in with the eight mil screw. That's the last one we got left. And screw that down. So before we put that on, we want to take this washer and put this up the shaft. And then we can take the moon disc we've been working on and that follows it this way round meshing into the gears at the other end so to hold that into place i do have one grub screw left i always find it best to actually just hold it upside down and let gravity keep that into place with you and just put that grub screw in this side here now you can see why i can't use a wow stick for everything there's no way i'm ever going to get a wow stick into this here being so flush against that plate so i'm just gonna tighten this up completely and that is all there is to do in those two stages. That's all there is to do in that pack. Let me put the planets on again. So Mercury is closest to the sun. Venus is there. I love astronomy. I'm telling you, space astronomy. I'm always fascinated as a kid with that. But that is the first two stages. And that is how this goes together. And then once again, this will eventually just sit into this section just here. It is holding itself up, as you can see there. Oops, almost <laughs> at the moment. Until we've got the full base on here, it will have a wobble because that center shaft is actually slightly longer. But uh, you get the idea of how this goes together. I've got a big smile on my face. I do love this. I remember seeing it first time around, how impressed I was with it. And uh, you can see why now. If you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link in the video description and also on the screen there of a QR code. You can get this all the way in one kit. It comes complete. 12 stages, and as I said, in the next videos, we'll work on stage three and four. But I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.